Danny Boy. I did an interview with Danny Boy and he told a story about how you came to his hotel room one day and you gave him fellatio. He also told his same story in his book. You told a story in your book about you and Joel's. Um, you care to share that story? Yeah, what part of it? <laughs> I mean, in your book, you said that um, she gave you fellatio. The best. <laughs> the best. No disrespect. So give me the backstory on that. How did that come about? Uh, well, you know, I was, uh, my baby mama gonna kill me because I had a baby mama at this time. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the funny thing is that people have been, <laughs> been saying, you know, watch out for Joelle. <laughs> Don't, she gonna da 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 da. And I'm like, no, she not, you know. And, uh, I'm young and she's older. And she had came up, she came to the room one time and, and, uh, you know, for, for respect of her, of her kids and everybody, I won't say everything, but yeah, we started messing around a couple of times and she started getting a little serious and Joelle was a little, really gangster. Like Joelle would also, you know, she would do all these things and was the best and whatever. Everybody says she's the best at, but you can get your ass with by Joelle at the same time. Joelle can go out in the hallway and be like four or five girls up <laughs> at the same time. So to be around her, at that time, at such a young age, you know, I was kind of, it was kind of considered like, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the vet. She was my first vet, I guess I, sh I, sh I could say. Right. The first vet, or uh, is it Tiger? <laughs> yeah. She was the first vet that I kind of messed around with. And, and she was the first lady at death row. Came to my room and uh, she knew I had a girl. She kept telling me some, she had, I, don't know, I think she said some shit like, you know, who is this crazy ass girl? Everybody talking about this crazy girl. And she was talking about my, my daughter's mom. Like, yeah, whatever. You know, she talking, we sitting on the bed, we smoking weed. And she was like, uh, you know, she so worried about this little ass boy or something. You know, I'm just talking stuff back, you know. And before I probably could get the next little sentence out of my mouth, she had to pull my pants down. And I looked, I looked forward to pulling my pants down all the time after that. <laughs> I did. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm 53 now. I honestly, I took so much like the crashing and weed and ecstasy. I, I can't remember back in days when I did, but if you said I did it. I don't even remember Danny Boy, let's hide to me. Okay, okay. Well, let me be trill. So, let me say that my disobedience <laughs> to the Lord is your salvation. <clears throat> if I did, which I think I did, give Danny Boy the Jewel experience back in the days, I didn't know he was under no age now. Nah. He trying to make me seem like I'm like law and order SVU special victims unit. I watch that all the time. Anybody know me law and order and monk, uh, Mari, you are the father and Steve Wilcox. Those are my favorite songs and the news, of course. So I would have never got with Danny boy. If he was under age. Now, Danny boy had a fake ID when he came to death row. So I thought he was legal and Danny boy. I thought we was really good. And at first I was angry and some mother would have been missing their son right about now. But because Joel knows to hold her peace and let the Lord, let the Lord fight her battles. Then I have to say, I have to really be honest to all the people out there. No matter what I really thought Danny boy's age was, had I not put his penis in my mouth, would have never made his interview. So on that note, I would never have sex with an underage person knowingly. I can go to jail, but I ain't gonna lie. From my husband to my ex-husband, most of the men that I was in the relationship, they were like eight to 10 to 11 years younger than me. Hmm, I'm old. They got to hop it like a rabbit. 
So that's all I'm going to say about that. Danny boy, you know you was wrong. Danny boy, the old you well, I would have already been at your doorstep, at your mama's doorstep, at your kids' doorstep, at everybody you know doorstep. But the God I served told me to hold my peace and let the Lord, the Lord, as Tyler Perry would say, fight my battles. I'm going to tell you, as well as I'm going to tell everybody else, including the Nancy Fletchers and the people that I've been heard through the grapevine putting my name in your mouth. Just because Jewel been quiet <clears throat> and I love the Lord, don't get it twisted. Keep my name out your mouth before you have something else in your back. Baby.